this is the latest development here. I've made some more of the larger diameter copper pipe handheld parasite zap electrodes. These ones here are better to grab a grip on it because you can wrap your fingers around them more easier. And I've got six of them here. That's about three pairs. I already sent a pair off to Shane in New South Wales for his parasite zapper, which I made him and sent him before. And over here, I've got an unfinished pair. This is going to be part of an experiment here, okay? I won't go into details yet until I completed it, but that's going to be something in there. Now, I've got a little trainer here full of copper fines, aluminium fines, traces of nickel, some almonds, some borax. I've got to get some, and I've got to make me Rochelle salt crystals yet for the recipe here, which I'm going to pack them pipes with it. And inside the pipes, I'm going to insert a powerful neodymium magnet covered with foil now. So when I expose these electrodes with the frequencies going through them, from the parasite zappers, to our electromagnetic field from the hybrid dimensional resonant electromagnet, I'm going to simulate a mini earthquake there, and the vibrations are going to do something, or trigger some energy maybe, with the piezoelectrical elements I've got to dump in there yet. Then anyway, that's an experiment that I've got going in there, so it's a slow one in there. So when I get to it, I'll do a video of YouTube on it anyhow. Okay, that's about the latest for now. Thank you for watching my latest video.